everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to make the game of life. Today I'll be using uh, Java, uh, using the integrated development environment IntelliJ. Uh, if you're going to be using another programming language, uh, such as Python, C, JavaScript, uh, whatever, uh, I won't mind. I'm going to be trying to explore every idea that goes into this project so that even though we're in different languages, you'll still be able to understand me. But if you want to just uh, copy me, that's fine too. So we want to make a new project. Whoops. Uh, click next if your project SDK has been set. Click next again. Make a project name. Mine would be Game of Life with three E's because I already have two. And one's already taken, I guess, four A's. A game of life with four A's, okay. Um, so, great. Now we've got this, we've got our project, but we can't type anything. So now we expand here, click on SRC, then we right click, go to new, and we go to Java class. And we'll call this, uh, what's a good name, life frame? life frame we're going to import a few uh, classes a few packages and use java x dot swing dot j frame public life frame And let's get the uh, main method right okay so we've got the basics done so we want to uh, do an extension extends jframe Now then, we want to uh, be able to set the size of it. So let's go set size uh, seven. In my case, it'll be seven hundred by thirteen hundred. I think that's a good dimension for my screen. And we want to be able to see it. So set visible to true. And I think it would be a good idea that when we close our program, it shuts all uh, systems down. So set a default close operation, jframe.exit on close. So what this does, it is ensures that when you actually close the frame, it closes, it actually closes. So I could just give a little demonstration here. So let's call this new life frame. So when we are going to run this, hopefully if we haven't stuffed anything up, it should just pop up with a uh, GUI. Any second now. Or you know, it could just take a million years, who knows. Okay, here we are. And I think, yeah, I did stuff that up. Whoopsies. So I've got to swap my uh, values here, but that's okay. So you see when I close it, process finish with exit code zero. Let me just change this first. And now if we just get rid of this line by commenting it out and now we run it and if we close you can see down here it actually hasn't closed so if we were gonna run it again it'll ask us do we want to close our program 
Life frame is not allowed to run in parallel. Would you like to stop the running one? I'm sorry, I'll, I'll close that. So stop and rerun. And basically the same thing. Okay, cool. So we got a um a frame, we got a GUI, but now we want stuff in it, right? So let's make a new class, Java class. We'll call this life panel. And we're gonna import a few more uh, packages. So import Java X dot swing J panel import Java X dot swing timer. I'll get to the I get to all of these as the series progresses. This was part one and I just want to display the uh, the frame and the panel. Our objective at the moment is just going to be making the screen black. So we imported that. Now let's import some uh, graphics. I'm just going to, I don't really know my uh, AWT uh, package very well, so I'm just going to call all of it. Um, if you're a beginner to program, I do not recommend doing this. I would highly recommend that you call out uh, the class that you want because you get more familiar with it uh, quickly. You know what it does. So anyway, let's go public uh, life panel. This is called, uh, by the way, this is called a um, class method. And we're not going to have the main method here. In fact, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to call the life panel in here. So new life panel. And I don't think I stuffed up. Apparently I stuffed up. Well, okay. First, let's extend this. J panel. And let's set our size to the J frame. So it was, for me, it was 1300 by 700. Because of course we want our panel to be the same size of our frame. If this, uh, if this concept's a little bit confusing, think of the frame as the um, wooden, as the wooden frame on a um, on a canvas, paint canvas, and think of the panel as uh, the error you actually brush on. So obviously we want uh, the frame and the panel to be the same size. If either one was larger than the other, it can make a few mess, make a bit of a mess. Okay, so now we want a public void paint component. And we're going to call the graphics class. And what we want to do when I go super dot paint component G. What does super dot paint component G does? Basically what it does is it re how to explain this. It um if you have a you see how my mouse is moving or my cursor is moving? If I didn't have that here, it would just pretty much draw a heap of mouses. It would pretty much uh go from Draw heaps of mouses here. What super does, it refreshes and only uh, shows where the current mouse is, not to where it has been, if that makes sense. So we've set the size of it. Uh, let's set the layout to null. And Ah, okay, now it's working. So now if we run, you'll see that it should be working all normal. There won't be any changes as of yet. It's still white, as you can see. So 
So let's set the background to black. This is uh, optional, you can design it however you want, but I'm going to be using black. And I feel like this won't work, but we'll go ahead and see. Nope, it works. Okay, cool. So, how long has, have I been recording? Okay, 10 minutes. I'll explain a few more concepts. So, I've already talked about how JFrame is pretty much the frame of the canvas. Uh, this is, you always need a JFrame to be able to show stuff. You can uh, not use a panel as a separate class, but I highly recommend it because it's a lot more easier to use. Otherwise, you have to gonna add because when you want to uh, display print, not print. What am I talking about? Uh, once you want to display a few graphics options, but you also want to display buttons alongside with it. They tend to compromise and they don't, they seemingly don't want to do what you want them to do. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, same. So, JPanel is just, I won't say an extension of JFrame, but you know, it's like a, an extension of JFrame. Um, what, ah, oh, yeah, I talked about this in my um, part one for my. Pong video, but if we were to get rid of uh, JFrame, here you can see there are a bunch of red lines. But if I add, let's say, um, JFrame F, we'll just call it F, equals new JFrame, then we can just go F.add. Uh, F dot add, F dot add, and F dot add. And hopefully, it's been a while since I've done it like this, it should still work like normal. And hallelujah. This is not my preferred uh, method. I prefer it the other way because it looks cleaner. But that, uh, hopefully, that, if you didn't know that, that's just hopefully give you a bit more understanding. Okay, um, paint component. Paint component is the um, Java Swing uh, version of the uh, A Aut uh, paint. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but I know public void paint component. I'm pretty sure it's part of the Java Swing. And I, so, <clears throat> sorry, getting a bit mixed up with my words here. So I, it tends to help if you use um, the latest tools, although it's a bit ironic of me saying that, considering I'm using Java Swing, but it's better than using uh, Aut. Um, so anyway, I think that would do for part one of this video. Uh, I'm gonna be putting this in a um, in a playlist, and these videos are gonna be bite-sized so that you can do them, they will be uploaded uh, every day, so every day you can upload an extra feature to your game of life. Uh, project. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you all later.